，没事，没事，没有，我在头上，然后就是，我在头上。She cupping mango stains. She cupping mango stains on this mother. I just end up letting her. Yoko won't let everyone call Fi wife, and Fi secretly kissed Yoko during the Tai Tai to to the Tai Bao Live. You know what? Sure, Jamex. Because <laughs> because who am I to who am I who am I to argue with you? I'm exhausted personally. Just get to the video. <laughs> Sorry, that felt cheap of me. <laughs> that felt like pro people problems. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not that bad. I swear. But I do pay for the premium, so I don't have to watch commercials. I'm just saying. Which still pays the person that I'm watching, though. They get a percentage of my premium. Right here, right away, it started out stupid. And the reason being is because you see the necklace that Fi has? Yoko has the one that matches it. It's called, what they, what they call them, appreciation? Because the appreciation necklaces. The single togetherness is already starting out stupid. This is what I meant when I said that I need y'all to hold on. The doc is here. You understand what I'm saying? It's all up in here. You got to stay strong. You know what I'm saying? Because my mental won't let me down. <laughs> I'm strong. But my mental won't let me down. You got to believe that. Okay? You got to believe that. So already it's stupid 24 seconds in. 24 seconds in, Fi is wearing her matching little necklace with uh with Yoko. Okay? So already. But that that but okay, that's none of our business. Because they're single. Apart. She can do it, Fi. It's okay. <laughs> she can do it, Fi. Okay, how I'm not judging. Oh, okay, she just... That's just what, okay, okay. <laughs> she's just always going there, I guess. <laughs> she always gnawing on something with the head. And, and you know, as I watched this, I felt this part of the video. Oh, yeah, her hair got caught in a little sticker. I thought this was, Fi was very respectful, even when she had to touch the places, you know, that could necessarily be considered disrespectful. She kept it respectful. She did. Couldn't see what she was doing behind her, but you know. And the front, then she grabbed her leg. Yep. She's still looking. All that. Yeah, back on the tie ties. Yeah, I feel like, and then that's when I felt like, okay, because right there, that hand passed. Let me see. One, two, two three, four, five, six. I, it, I felt like she had already got it. <laughs> like, you, 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 you got, you touched everything <laughs> about seven times. About seven times. I feel like she, it was respectful until, and that's just how I feel though. That That's just how I feel though. It was respectful until she got there and then it's like all of a sudden, you know, she was playing bongos or something. <laughs> just pop, pop, boop, pop, 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 You know, just, she stayed there. I just don't know why she stayed there for so long. <laughs> Now she on the so neck, okay. okay. Right, and then look, one more pass, huh? One more pass? Okay, you found that one. All right, I, I, I thought she had one more in it. I thought she had one more in it. Now, Yoko, on the other hand, immediately started smirking as she as she touched and grazed on things that she knew she was touching and grazing on. She's a toddler, guys. Can't blame her. She's a toddler. Hi. Absolutely, she's a toddler. Yeah, look, mm-hmm, look, <laughs> she said, and five twitching and twerking. 
she switching and twerking. Yoko got her hand around. <laughs> Yoko got there. Yoko got her hand around five waist and then proceeds to go up her arm to her tata and then inside her coat. Because well, what we'll get to that if they show it. Oh, we want ah, then I need, then I need, then I need. <laughs> All that, yeah. Just fill on, yep. If I just, yeah, oh, got one. Mm-hmm. Oh, now your hand just back there, just. Uh huh. Look, see, if I be cheating, doing all like, what she doing? Uh huh. And she knew she wasn't gonna find them last ones, though. Look. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Look at, uh, yeah, that hand started roaming. Yep, she said, oh, look, her hand, look, nah, Fi lifted the pillow when her hand was on her leg. When that hand went towards her crotch, Fi was like, bloop, get the, <laughs> she put that pillow in, like, up, oh, look, look, she's like, well, let's go put it down now. Tay, tay. We saw it all. And then why did you, why you hugging her? Her eyes are closed, Fi. This whole game was stupid, personally. Wow, okay, y'all go knew what she was doing. Fi knew what she, why is Fi, the, the, the girl can't even see you, Fi. Why, this, this whole part right here was stupid. Why did Fi then, why did Fi close the gap on them? Why is Yoko stroking her neck? Why is Fi looking at her like she can, like Yoko can see her and she looking intently in her eyes? Why are any of us here for this? Why did they leave the cameras on? Why that lady in the back sitting there cackling instead of telling them that they on TV? Why is any of this happening? <laughs> I got a lot of whys. I got a whole bunch of questions. I got no answers. I got a whole bunch of questions. BB Kiki said, Nikki, how you coin terms with well, with the fandoms? Fayoko single togetherness, Inglot moving together in one direction, freeing Becky, they go together. Just realizing, oh, I, I did, didn't I? They all had their own. Inglot is they trapped in the same direction as a unit. Uh, Fayoko is single togetherness, and uh, freeing Becky is they go together. That's accurate. That is accurate. That is accurate. <laughs> not the loading emojis, D Santiago. <laughs> not the loading emojis. I'm trying to tell you, we have no idea what's happening here. Hey, hey. This is all a flabbergasting mess. Look at this. <laughs> Five, what you doing? That's what I said. Right, exactly, Jam. Easy, Five, relax. Like, she can't see you. Five is like, yeah, like she. But Yoko is, come on, like, you ain't, that girl ain't got no paper back there. Y'all just. <laughs> she cupping mango stings. <laughs> cupping mango stings on this mother. I just end up letting her. Her, her y'all saw that right? Yoko's hand is up five shirt. Y'all see that in the back, right? I know everybody's too busy. See, y'all gonna know what she's doing. It's like it's like ah, look at look at what I'm doing here, bitch. Ah, then she, mind you, she's stealing over here. She got y'all looking at this right here. Look at that as the, her hand in the front is like, oh my goodness, I just don't know. Am I still looking for it? The game is over, I thought. Oh, worry, I just can't see it. Her hand in the back is going all up and through Yoko um, up underneath Fi's uh, sweater. <laughs> this has got to be illegal. Like, it's got to be something. Look, look, just hand up in the back, just. And then she's like, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Five smart though. She put them joints on her knees. That's crazy. Yoko lost in there. Hands explored again. <laughs> Yoko was out of pocket for this joint. Bro. I feel like Five was cheating though, because aren't you supposed to touch you with parts of your body? Five was trying to use everything but like her actual body parts. Uh, and we'll get to why. But like, so she was using like her hair and her sweater and shit. I was like, five, you don't touch that girl with something that's connected to your skin. <laughs> that's wrapped in your skin. Get the hammer. You stupid. Look at her. That's what I'm saying, bro. Why is you using like <laughs> materials and stuff? Like, touch me with your body. It's called a touch your body game. <laughs> See, look, watch. <laughs> Did she? She guessed it right the first time, right? <laughs> she guessed it, <laughs> and then she guessed it again. 
See, as soon as she started, as soon as as soon as Fi started touching her with her body part, Yoko started guessing all the parts. Now watch why. Listen to Yoko. Just watch. Just keep watching. <laughs> She's like, Yo, before she could barely even touch her. A few moments later. Now, okay, they didn't say it, but in this part, when Yoko was doing having to do the touching, or when yeah, when Fi was touching Yoko, Yoko says, "There's not a part of her body I don't know." Fi said. I'm surprised that's got to be in here somewhere. Hopefully, uh, uh, Jamex put it in here, cause Fi was like, "Now, <laughs> you're right. Now, what that means, Shim Tata, so right? Like, cause what?" Right, that's a normal thing to say. I promise you, my best friend, Candace, we've known each other since we were 10 years old. If she came up to me and I had a blindfold on right now and she touched me with any part of her body, I would not be able to just be like, oh, oh. if my mama, who gave birth to my whole entire existence, came up to me right now, and touch me. I may be able to recognize her hands, but if she touched me with any other part of her body, I would not be able to recognize it. Bro, what you mean? And how you know her, how you know the difference between her pinky and- <laughs> Let me, okay, shut up, Nikki, go play. <laughs> how you know it was her, how you know the difference between her pinky and it wasn't a different finger? Like, how, how did she not know? How did you know? How did how did you know? You don't find that suspicious? <laughs> like how did you know? If I knew her too though. Where's my helmet? Right. Nah, she thought that she thought it was like knuckle, I think, or something like that. I don't know what she thought it was. Yeah. Right, she was like, you barely touched. She knew that was her cheek. She knew that was her cheek. And then she kit now look, bitch. So she so then Yoko kisses Fi's palm, palm and Fi obviously knows, you know, that she her lips. Watch Fi's lips. Jam, you better not cut it. That's a real single response, fine. So Yoko kisses Fi's palm. Fi goes lips or kiss or whatever she says. And then goes. And then it's like she caught herself. Watch, watch, watch the lip bite. Watch the lip bite. Yo, don't do that. Okay. Yoko looked away immediately. Yoko said, uh uh, look, look, look. <laughs> Yo, don't do the, uh, okay. Yoko look away. It's five but what is five biting her lip Yo, for? Like okay. And she caught herself like, oops. I bet that joint left a tingly sensation. Yeah. <laughs> like a dentin commercial, bruh. I bet that joint left a tingly sensation. That's what I Okay. Wait, 
So they both know each other's bodies. Yeah, she liked the kiss though. Yeah, we saw that jam. We saw that jam. Now, everybody was on my timeline on Saturday being like, yo, this was a kiss. This has to be a kiss. I'm seeing a kiss, right? And as I look at it, to me, it wasn't like a kiss kiss. Like it wasn't like Mwah, like this, but she and she definitely intentionally like moo mooed her. Like, you know, you know how they do. They do that. She definitely did that. She definitely did that. It wasn't like a nibble. No, nah, it wasn't a nibble or a kiss. It wasn't a lip thing at all. It was this. It was, she did this. She did the nuzzle, right? She said, she did that. She definitely did that. She definitely did that. And it was intentional, which is why Yoko looked at her the way that she did, because she had already sn sniffed her hand multiple times by that point. And she, at that point, was just milking it. She was milking it. And it was like right here, too. It was like, that's she went right there, bro. Just old in. Yeah, yo, and Yoko Smurf said it all. I agree. Yo, sniff, and yo, Yoko sniff fly too. Yeah. Love sniffing each other, bro. They are, they are massive. <laughs> My eyebrows went up like. I was like, yo. Yo, I was like, yo. Like her name, she said her name. And look, and then she does it back to her. say we are speaking of solicitation specifically if you are here for a specific fandom you may get offended by this but i'm i'm a very unbiased if you're new here you will then i'm sorry but i'm very unbiased we have watched i have watched a lot of gl couples do lives and do all kinds of things and they are all very cute and they are all very affectionate and you can tell that they all have a very good a very beautiful bond but i will say that the natural skinship that Fai and Yoko have seems to be more natural as if it's done more than just, <clears throat> you know what I mean? Like it's, I don't know how to say it without offending people and, and I'm not trying to offend because I think that all of the GL couples, I think that they all do genuinely love each other and they all genuinely have amazing chemistry bonds, especially like people like Ling Orm and shit. Ling Orm have known each other for six years. You're going to tell me that their affection is not real. I know that their affection for each other is real. What I am saying though, is that there are like these, it's the small, it's the little things. It's not the big things. It's not like throwing your leg over somebody or hugging somebody or sniffing somebody like that. Like those, we see those moments, but it be this, this, this little shit that they do right here. Like, okay, you sniffed her. Okay. That's the moment. And then it's like, it's the moments in between the moments. Like even with the reaction season two, episode one recap, we were reacting to the love scene and it was like, whoa, but the scene that got me the most you know, the, re the the part of the reaction that got me the most, aside, I mean, obviously the tingles, you know what I'm saying? But it was when they were playing with their fingers, bro. Like Yoko was like pinching at Fi's hoodie and then Fi looked down and noticed it and then she uh, gave her her fingers and then it just started and they just, it's like the tapping and the rubbing. It's y'all, if, if you know, if you, if you understand body language analysis, if you've ever been in a very affectionate, loving relationship, you'll get what I'm saying. You understand what I'm saying? Like those little things that they do, it's like, that's not something that you get from just being close because you work together. Those little bitty, li these little bitty things, like I said, it's these little moments in between their big moments that people don't see and you go, oh shit. 
Oh shit. But again, they are single. Keep the doc in your mind. Don't get too delulu. Rain in, holster your expectations. These are real human beings. These are real people. I am just observing. I am just speaking out what I observe. I just find it very interesting. And I'm gonna leave it at that. Yoko was proud of Fire's drawing. Bruh. Oh wow, that's rain. It's supposed to be storming out here, guys. We got a tropical storm coming this way. Uh, where is it at, bro? Where is it at? Of course, when I want it <clears throat> or need it, it's not. Is that? Nope. Dag nab it. Nag dab it. Damn it. All right, I thought I had. That joint ready to pull up, bro. Oh, well. Either way. Oh, wait. Maybe I do. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I keep forgetting. It was, uh... <clears throat> hold up, hold up, hold up. Ah. If I like someone, you guys... If I like someone, you guys will know that I'm not good at hiding my emotion on my face. If I like someone, you guys will know that I'm not good at hiding my emotion on my face. Yeah, I know who that is. I just I I wanted I wanted to let her say it. I wanted to let her say it. That's Yoko. That's Yoko. I wanted to let Yoko say it with her own mouth so that when I point this out, and she said it in English, baby. Thank you, NJ. She said it in English, boo. She said that when I like somebody, I can't hide it. You'll see it all over my face. I wanted her to say it in English so y'all heard it out of her own mouth. This is not me overreaching. This is not me overinterpreting. This is not me overanalyzing. She said that. Now let's watch the clip. clip. She had to fight everything inside of her not to kiss by. I promise you. I'm just saying, it could have been a little nose, nose, nose. I don't know. It could have been a sisterly kiss. All I know is that she had to she had to resist <laughs> Yoko smirk <laughs> That was a good catch, Jam. That was a good catch. That push pull energy. That was a really good catch. That was a really good catch. If you understand what Jam is saying right here, to put uh, what's with their push pull. So there is something in body language analysis uh, that is basically called. It's not called push pull, but 
you, you can look at it and say it's like push pull. I don't actually know what the technical term of it is, but it's basically like a reciprocal give and take of energy, right? And when pe people genuinely have a mutual attraction, they seem to sway and flow with each other in a very fluid way. It's the same way to um, dancers who've never chore There's a video, oh my God, it's one of my favorite videos of two dancers who've never danced together. They didn't have anything choreographed and they freestyled together. And it, it was a guy and a girl. And when I tell you, it was like one of the dopest joint, bro, it was so freaking dope. They killed it. Never danced together, it wasn't choreographed, but they had a mutual attraction and a chemistry that was just like off the chain. So what you see here, this natural push-pull energy is the kind of energy you can normally see between two people who have a genuine, natural, organic chemistry, something that's not manufactured, something that's not being reproduced, but something that's very natural. That's what this is, the push-pull. And I didn't even pay attention to it because it happened so fast, but it is like, it's just a natural swaying of the bodies to match each other's energy flow. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. Oh, the daddy. Oh. <laughs> she loves when you're gonna do that. She's been obsessed ever since that girl did that. <laughs> Imagine if Ink pops out when I start instead, bro. You stupid. Copying the emoji faces. I ain't even gonna say nothing about that. Bro, Yoko really got an emoji face, bro. Yoko's so cute. <laughs> they must be looking at it, looking at themselves on the monitor. Cause what is that? I could never. How you supposed to do that? Just right. Okay, die. I don't. I don't know what. It looked like you constipated. Oh, Yoko, okay. <laughs> look at us. Here, <laughs> like here, Yoko. <laughs> you got to snap at her like she a puppy. Oh, this was hilarious. They thought they was finna get up, like, cause the lady was finna like come and like the host. She was like showing like some of the stuff, the products and stuff closer to the camera. So Fire and Yoko was like, oh, okay, <laughs> so they both was getting ready to get up. And when the lady was like, nah, y'all's cool. Y'all can just sit here in the background. I'm gonna go stand in front of the camera. I don't necessarily know what they thought she meant when she said she was gonna go stand in front of the camera, but maybe they didn't realize that we could see as much as we could see. Cause once Fi draped that arm over Yoko's shoulder, they proceeded to act like a whole ass couple for the better part of a minute, bruh. Why this lady was in the front talking about whatever, whatever. Who the fuck? I, who, did you, who, what, what was she? I saw a couple of pictures of Faye and Yoko and then everything else was just them in the background being gay together, but single apart. Oh, they ain't even show it. Jam, you be slipping, bro. I would have showed it. Okay. Look at this shit here. Just. Like skin has to be touching. Yoko, let her go. Shit. Y'all see how Yoko ain't want to let her go. She let her lean over. Yo, she was trying to get some shit. Yo. Bro, Yoko was dead ass holding on to her. Watch how. Dang, Yoko. Bruh. They took all the damn pictures. I thought it was tired. How many poses are there? Ain't no way. I would have did four pictures and been like, bitch, you're going to have to make that work. You make some photocopies and stuff. <laughs> Their mics off. Is that the paycheck? What's in that portfolio? What's in that? Moto Toto. Is that the name of the brand? I thought it was Taiwan.
<laughs> right, they took a ton of Polaroids. I hope they give another way. Look, they better. Look, oh, here it goes. Here it goes. So, all right. So this is the moment. Jam just like didn't put it uh, chronologically, but that's fine. So this was the moment. So this was right when the the MC goes, "Hey guys, you know, I'm getting ready to get up. Show them da 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 da." And so they go, they get ready to get up. She was like, "No, no, no, it's cool. You can still sit there." They was like, "Oh, okay, cool." And then Fi drops her arm over Yoko and like starts tickling her. I, just watch. This whole, they are single. You, have, I had to say that to myself over and over as I continue to watch this part because this was so GF coded. I guess they thought they was just immediately started bullying her. <laughs> immediately started bullying her, bro. Fi is literally the boy on the playground who pulls your pigtails because he likes you. That is Fi, bro. She never grew up. And then she asking him, <laughs> look at Yoko. Yoko just, I don't even know how to describe what they give to each other, but I love that Yoko's inner child is protected and safe with Fi, but it's so, and it's not more important, but it's also so very important that Fi being older and being an older sister only it's so important that her child is so safe with Fi. I mean, so safe with Yoko. And while in the past we've seen glimpses of Fi be like this, like nobody, because a lot of times people get offended when the people say, oh, Yoko brought this out of her. Fi changed completely. I'm, I don't think that Fi changed completely. I think everything we're seeing, we've seen her be cute in the past. We've seen her be sexy in the past. We've seen her look lovingly in the past. Like, I think that we've seen glimpses of all of these different shades of fire that we get now we've seen that in her what people don't understand is it's the consistency with which she displays it when she's around a certain individual though you can tell that Fi's inner child feels safe with yoko and it doesn't that has that doesn't define their relationship it's just the truth of the matter five feels like she can be playful she can she can show all sides like yoko said she's p fi at night and in the morning she's p molly she gets to be all of her different sides with yoko and it's so rare that you find someone re regardless of the nature of your relationship it's rare that you find someone where you can be all yourself with and you can be your weird self and that's why yoko made that appreciation post um uh, uh when they were coming back from korea and she talked about that. She's like, thank you for allowing me to be my silly self. Thank you for, you know, adjusting and changing things for each other without losing our individuality. Like she said a lot of things that were very girlfriend coded, but I digress. They say they're single, so I'm gonna go with that. But I say all that to say like, in this moment, again, just them being playful and teasing in the background, it's a cute moment, but I always know, you know me, I'm a over analytical person. So I'm always gonna look a little bit deeper. And I really did, I really do appreciate the fact that Fi's inner child is so safe with Yoko and that's why she can act out the way she does. And when you see her teasing Yoko, she's not trying to be mean. She's not bullying her. Even though I use the word bully, it's love bullying. You know what I'm saying? It's love bullying. It's never like, it's never with a malicious or a mean intent. It's always because she just wants to see, she like, first of all, she even said that she likes to tease Yoko because she likes the way that Yoko reacts to her teasing. So I, th I just think it's a beautiful thing. And like I said, we can get lost in a moment by just looking at the moment, but I always look sometimes deeper for the emotional and mental uh, connotation and context too. <laughs> oh, oh, gee, we got over a thousand people. Yeah, let's hit the like button, bro. Whoa, only 451 likes? Y'all don't like what I'm doing. Let me stop there. Only 451 likes with over a thousand people in here? Y'all don't like what I'm saying? That's crazy. It seems like if y'all here, you would like, huh? Dang. Dang. That's crazy. Please, guys, genuinely, just like the live. It doesn't it doesn't cost you anything, and it, it's great, and it's great engagement, and it brings more traffic to us, so it makes our channel bigger. Hit the like button. Bruh, I mean, just never ending. So she goes from pulling on the girl's hair, right, to she was sitting there for a second. She was like, oh, what else can I do? Oh, I know. I'll take her hair and try to shove it up her nostrils. <laughs> 
Yoko was, I mean, Fai is very much that uh, annoying girlfriend. And Yoko's very much that patient girlfriend who can get annoyed, but not get annoyed, if that makes sense. <laughs> you know what, believe it or not, I think a younger partner is perfect for five because some people are like that. Like, I think that, not that she couldn't, because age doesn't define, you know, your level of playfulness and maturity. But I just think it would be harder for her to be this playful with somebody a little bit older than her or somebody her age. I feel like it's easier to be this playful because I'm not going to hold you. One or two of these would have been cute. The third time I'd have been like, okay, <laughs> fuck off me. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? And so I think personally, some people, they do match well with a younger partner, not creepy young, <laughs> but y'all know what I mean. I mean, like over the age of consent, at least able to vote and drink and drive and a rent and rent a vehicle or a place of uh, uh, residence. <laughs> That's what I mean. Um, if you can't do all of that, then uh, uh. But I do think I, I really do. I I think that uh, Fi, a younger partner, is perfect for her. It helps balance her out, but also allows her to be, um. Yeah, 23 and 29, exactly. They're six years apart. Uh, 23 and 29 are their ages. Um, they're like six years and some change apart. And I just think, like I said, I just think it's that's a good balance because it allows Fi to be the protective, older, mature one at times, but then also be that silly, nonchalant, carefree side of her that really, with Yoko's appearance in her life, seems to have like grown into a giant. Like, we see more now... We see more Molly than we see uh, Fi, and it used to be we saw Fi with you know, and we saw Molly pop out every once in a while. But now it's like always Molly, and it's like Fi every once in a while. Like when they was watching season two, episode one. <laughs> that was Fi. <laughs> For sure. Gripping and touching on pillows. The new pillows got violated. I'm gonna do something. Protect them pillows, you right? The MC is third willing. Bro, she ain't even realize she was third willing. Why nobody paying attention to what she said? Oh. Hold up. <laughs> Thought there was gonna be more to that, but let's talk about this real quick. One second. The MC gave Fi a phrase to say in Chinese. She said, uh, wife, can you order a wife, please order, right? Talking to the fans, wife, please order. Yoko was holding Fi's hand and Yo Fi proceeds, it's like Shem, it's like Shem Bao Bei or something like that, or Shem Laon Bao Bei, something like, I don't know, don't give me the line. And Fi starts to say, she goes, Shem, and Yoko squeezes the shit out of her hand and Fi stops immediately. And then now Yoko doesn't say anything, which makes it awkward because then Fi stops and looks at her and then she's like, what? But Yoko won't say. And then Yoko kind of looks at the MC and the MC then begins to explain and tie what she was trying to get Fi to say. And when Fi realized that the word, that the reason why Yoko squeezed her hand was because the word wife came up, Fi falls back and laughs, right? And then she sits up and she goes, Yoko doesn't allow me to say that. And then the MC goes, you can't, y Yoko doesn't allow you. Why, why can't she say that? And Yoko says, bao bae, basically saying baby, bao bae. Like say, you can say bao bae. She and bao bae, you know what I'm saying? And the MC goes, and then Fi goes, why? And Fi goes, I can't say what, I can't say what she said. So I'm gonna, she can't repeat what the MC said. Why can't I repeat what the MC said? And Yoko says, shell bow back. <laughs> like, just keeps repeating it. Like, you can say that. Now, what I found interesting about the, I mean, obviously the whole scenario screams single. First and foremost. 
both of them reacted like two single people. Okay? What I found interesting about that is how Yoko squeezed Fi's hand but didn't mention why. How Yoko, how Fi said, Yoko said she's not allowed to say it. And when Fi said, why can't I say what the MC said? How come I can't? And y'all, all Yoko said was Shell Balbe. And then when the MC said, why can't she say uh, the word wife? And and, and Yoko said Shell Balbe. Like, if you're just being possessive of your P of your sister, you can just be like because you know, you know she doesn't she doesn't have a wife. She doesn't need to have a wife. You know, uh, uh, it's just more appropriate. For her to call them baby or dear or something like that, you know, it's just I just found it. it she was very, very, very uh, weirdly possessive in this moment, but also unlike Yoko, who explains everything. If I got to stop her from over explaining shit, Yoko didn't do anything to explain this. It was so weird. Matter of fact, I got to show y'all the clip that I got because you got to see what it looked like when fi, when she was about to. Right here. Okay. Let's get this pulled up. Make it last forever. All right. Now. Hold up. So right there, you see, so the MC goes. And Fi immediately starts to say it. If I immediately starts to say it, make sure you guys are continue to hit the like button. Please hit the like button. Then you see Yoko squeeze Fi's hand and Fi immediately stops, bro. Watch. She, she, she stopped. I mean, Yoko squeezed the shit out of her hand. And then she just starts smiling. I'm gonna turn this shit down. So Yoko then just starts smiling. And Fi looked at her and Yoko was just like, ah. And then that's when the MC tells Fi what it is. Fi sits back, laughs, right? And then says, Yoko said I can't say it. Yoko said I can't say it. Mind you, Yoko sitting here the whole time looking at Fi, looking at the MC. Not explaining why Fi can't say it. Just, you know, my sister doesn't apparently like for me to call anybody else her my wife. Okay? And you know Fi, right, exactly. Fi doesn't want yo to sulk at her for another five days. Exactly. You know Fi wasn't finna go for that. So then, you see, Yoko just... And again, Fi, Yoko never explains. Yoko goes, baby, please order can be said. So then she telling Fi what she can say, baby. And then she says it again. Fi goes, oh, so I can't say it like before? And then Yoko goes, oh my God, my bro hold on, my brother's calling me. Bro, stop. Okay, let me, so there we go. So let me go, let me back, let me back, let me back, let me back, let me back. Okay, so the MC goes, you know, say, uh, says, can she say it? And then Yoko, so what can be said? The MC basically asking Yoko, well, what can she say? Yoko says, she can say, baby, please order can be said, okay? She says it again, baby, please order. And Fi goes, oh, so I can't say it like before? And then Yoko just says, baby, please order. And then she says, say, say, baby, please order instead. Again, not explaining to Fi or to the MC why. Now, Fi obviously already knows it, which is why Fi was pulling on his thread because she was trying to get, I, I'm not going to say she's trying to get Yoko to actually say it because I know she don't want Yoko to actually say it. But it was funny that she kept poking at that bear. Fi, I mean. And Fi, because look, then she goes again. Oh, so what? She, she said, oh, so what? She said it's impossible. So Fi asks three times. She goes, why can't I say what the MC said? Oh, I can't say what the MC said. Oh, so what she said, I can't, can't. She's poking that bear. And again, she asked that girl three times. The MC asked her twice, I believe. And Fi, and Yoko never explained why Fi can't say. She just says, baby. She just says, you can say baby. MC goes, why can't she say to them, my wife, watch. 
Yoko. Yoko just nods no, and the MC goes, okay, okay, okay. And then Fi goes, baby, please order. And then look, and Yoko looked like, yeah, Yoko was like, you probably, <laughs> yeah. And then, oh, and then of course that moment, which I really love, Yoko then was about to lay her head on Fi's shoulder, but then realized that they were live promoting. And so she lifts her head up and then, Yo and then Fi goes, cause again, she don't want no five day soaking shit going on. She was like, it's okay, baby. If you want to lay on me, you can lay on me. I don't give a damn about us promoting. Look at that. And then, and then proceeds to lock her arms in. And then proceeds to lock her arms in with her arm. What? Look. Single. 